want to show you guys how to get a very quick and solid opener as Byzantium. I'm going to be trying a shorter style of video. Let me know what you guys think of that. The idea is just to get, give you the fundamentals to start as Byzantium and then let you go from there. But let's get into it. To start off, we want to make sure we have a Diplomat Advisor available at level 1 or 2. I will go ahead and grab that guy straight away. And then we're going to go into our estates, going to sale titles and seize land. And let's go ahead and do the rest of our privileges. We're going to be doing the mana privilege for admin and military. We're going to be taking loose diplomats, development of temples, increased levies, trumps over the crown, and finally patronage of the arts and free enterprise. We're going to send the papal states 100 ducats, so he gets plus 25 relations with us. We're also going to scornful his rival. Any rival is fine, we'll pick Savoy. Send an insult scornful. We're going to unpause for one day. This will allow the religious diplomats plus 10 to tick, which will let us ally to Serbia. We're going to go ahead and remove the fort over here and send our army over to Maria. Let's slaughter our ships, recruit an admiral, and let's move our ships over. And let's go ahead and build a galley in every province that we can, except for one, which we're going to build a free company first. So we're going to take another loan here and grab the free company. And then we'll build a galley behind it. Go ahead and mothball our forts or fort. Then I recommend saving your game and making a backup at this point, just because Epirus will need to not have an ally and you don't want to redo all that opening RNG. Just a recommendation I have. We're going to grab an alliance with the Papal States on December 12th. And if you did get the Union of Councils early, just don't click it. And it you should be fine. It, it shouldn't auto-resolve within the first month. Basically, you're going to reject the Union of Churches. But before you do, you have to get the, your alliance with the Pope. And then you can get your mission here, of course. And you're going to want to go to war with Epirus right after you get that alliance. So December 12th. Should be a fairly easy war here. Even if you try to throw the free company away like I did. I'm going to go ahead and send a naval barrage. I'm going to go ahead and accept the royal marriage in Serbia. And we're going to start improving relations with Serbia. Start improving relations with Muscovy. As well as the Mamluks. For the Byzantine merchants of aid taxes, just hit the top event for the money. Oh, I forgot to have a leader in my army. No wonder the first battle went so badly. Definitely put an army there. But yeah, for the confirmation of the Council of Florence, we're going to have rejected Union. This will stop you from getting those nasty revolts, but it will also come with the consequence of... Making all the Catholics hate you. Okay, first war is done. Colonization with Empress. Grab our guy from the Mamluks. That's probably the least important alliance to get. Or the one will take the longest. So we're going to get this false despots mission done. That'll give us claims on Naples. So we're actually going to request military access from Papal States now. To ask for military access. We're going to send our guys over to Terracina. We can go ahead and focus our military now. Which will complete a mission. Although we want to wait until we're at 150 relations, I believe. For this event here. Let's see if we can rival the Naples in a bit when it gets free. I'm not sure if you can. So I'll save a, one of my slots for that. But I'm also going to recruit the Hatch Ducks over here. Okay, don't recruit any ships in this province because you need at least one place to get re mercenaries recruited. And it's a reconquest. Now that my relations are above 150, I'm going to grab this mission here and hit let us ask the Serbians for help. With any luck, they'll give you 250. It doesn't really matter if they don't. They give me 100 ducats, which is fine. That'll work. So now waiting for Naples to get free. It's kind of just hanging out. It's, it's, it's kind of expensive. So now what I would do is make a backup. And if Naples doesn't get released, by, let's say, January 1448, I would just reroll your game until he does. Towards the event we're waiting for, the Napoleon succession. What we're going to want to do straight away is recruit the Palace Guard. And they're going to come help reinforce. We are just going to go ahead and declaration of war on Naples. Make the war goal Barry or Bari. Go ahead and just send your troops straight to his capital. And you shouldn't actually fight at all in this, in this war. During this war, I'm going to fish for a morale advisor as well, because I know I need one. I'm getting bad luck here. This is my third set of rerolls. No, not what you like to see. Uh, fourth set of rerolls. Finally, four rerolls. That was extremely expensive. <laughs> Unfortunate. But you do need a morale advisor, so. It would be better if you started the game with a morale advisor, but I didn't want to reroll just because I didn't. Suppose I didn't even need this extra mercenary company, so we'll just get rid of them. What I'm going to do is wait a month and then move. So we're going to move over to this province, and they should go and siege that now. If I'm here, I can just carpet siege the rest. So just go ahead and do a nice carpet siege. Now, if I want to be min-max here, I can go and try to capture some ships. Could be helpful. Again, this isn't that important, but you might get an extra ship or two. Or you might lose a ship or two, who knows. So we got zero ships there. It's probably worth the effort, though, to try. I'll just end the war. So we're going to take the following provinces for the mission. Take max money and war reps. I'm pretty sure I forgot to send them as rival before the war, like I was planning to. Ah, foolish. I made a mistake there. Yeah, you should definitely rival Naples. I meant to do that. Oops. Oh, well. So core all up and then go for your mission tree. And you've got this mission recover Magna Gracia. That'll give you a nice admiral, as well as some free development and a culture accepted. So now we should be able to get the alliance with Muscovy freely, and we should be close with the Mamluks. I think I forgot to start improving with the Mamluks again, but yeah, we want to get back to doing that. So the Papal States will break alliance with you, because of your expansion. But all you should have to do now is grab this 
Morale Advisor that we fished for earlier. Level him to two. He should be able to repair the army. What am I missing here? Oh, right, right, right. Right, okay. Probably shouldn't have got rid of the Palace Guard after all, but we'll just grab another Merc Company real quick. And then we can go ahead and repair that army. We'll just get rid of the Mercs. Go ahead and get rid of these. And we can build more ships now, which we, I guess we could have done for a little bit, but let's just queue up a bunch of ships. We're currently in five loans. It's not the worst, but it's, yeah, if we got the extra 100 ducats from the Serbia event, it would have been nice, but it's not a huge problem. I'm going to get rid of that level two advisor. And in fact, I'll get rid of both the advisors for now and probably cut down on the mercenaries as well. Just get rid of the extra hash ducks. And for the Auburn Seas paying tribute, try to get the money. And if you're lucky, that'd be cool, but you probably won't get the money. But you can give them some rebels to, uh, if you want. Gives you a little event for that, like this one. So you can go ahead and give them rebels, sure. And it will be helpful if you set threatened to the Ottomans. If you're lucky, you can look for a morale of navies diplo guy. Though I don't, I'm not going to spend too much money on it. Maybe just like two attempts at it. No, no luck, so I'll just give that up. It's not really worth a ton of money to invest into it. I'm going to grant the diplo privilege now. And part of that is I want my autonomy to go up so I can have to lower autonomy here. So I can make this province disloyal. That's my thought process there. I'm just going to go ahead and switch to 5 speed to wait for the rebels to care. I'm going to set a scornful insult to the Ottomans. I got rebels popping up. Go deal with those. Let's get a leader. 50% morale. This is pretty nice. A 50% morale of armies. We'll grab that guy. This is a new event that they added. Where you get to lose stability for free. Once all that cores up, we can go ahead and just hit that up. Let's improve relations with Athens. So that we can annex him when the time comes. Now that I got this autonomy over 10%, I'm going to go ahead and decrease it. So I get some rebels. Make sure to get your tech 4 ASAP. And I should mop all my forts while I'm at war. Or not at war, rather. Gotta be careful about that. Our ships are all built up, so we could be ready to go. I'll go ahead and dev up this province just a hair. Just so that my force limit is a little better. I'm trying to get my naval limit up there. Albania got warred with. This is actually a really good war for you. It's often a good opportunity to fight the Ottomans. Because he's fighting against Venice, usually. Let's see if I can get a little bit of more development, though. I'm trying to get to the point where I can get a naval policy. Just can't quite get there, can I? Let's see, maybe just, you know, a little bit dev over here. I'm going to bring my guys over to Constantinople and prepare to war with the Ottomans. I'm going to make sure that I enable Skittage on Athens so they can't be in the war. I'm going to go ahead and ally to the Mamluks now. Once I full state everything, I think I can grab a naval policy. I'm going to go ahead and lower autonomy. I'm hoping to have a big enough naval limit to get the policy, yeah. Take a few loans for that. So I'm going to grab the naval policy here for the 20% Galley Combat ability. I'll start building this planet on the Ottomans just for better siege ability when we fight them. I better send my guys back over to Naples and say... Increased autonomy. Deal with those revolts first. And then I'm going to go into my estates. We're going to grant the integration policy. And then we're going to integrate Athens in just a moment here. So annex vassal. Looks good. Got this mission done here. Which will be helpful. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of the extra mercenaries. I guess I got his five extra ships too. So our navy is actually huge. I'm going to send my guys over to Constantinople now. We're, we've been preparing these rebels in Bulgaria. But we got to wait until the Ottomans are across the water. We don't want to fight them now. We want them to... Resolve that war and then declare war on somebody else so that we can kind of cheese them. We can seize land here. So our ship's over real quick to deal with that. Now we're just going to wait for the Ottomans to declare war with somebody else. So to make, to make sure that he gets all his men across the water. May even have to harsh treat these rebels just to um, make sure they don't spawn. So there, he declared war on Trebizond. This is just what we want. You probably notice he's going to move his guys across the water here. And here is our time to strike. We're going to give him a few more months to get really committed over there. But this is basically our time to strike. Grab mill 5. Let's grab our units. It's going to recruit a few more men here. So we just wait for our morale and we're going to go to war with the Ottomans. Could grab our second reform here as well. So before we declare war, I'm going to go ahead and provoke rebels in Bulgaria. And of course this is intentional. And now I'm going to declare war and make the war goal Jelibu. Which I'm sure I'm butchering. And I apologize for that. So go ahead and declare that war. I'm going to send our guys straight to Jelibu. And we're going to barrage assault. We may want to shift consolidate a few times here. Custom Patriarch Authority, which is helpful. And of course, we, we are going to win that ship battle. It's a little bit close, but all good. So at this point, the Ottomans are pretty helpless. And we're just going to siege them out. In fact, we're probably going to mothball our forts and just go to five speed. We'll get rid of the free company for now just because we're not making a ton of money. So if we want to be super greedy, we could probably turn off our army maintenance. But maybe we'll turn our army maintenance to like really low. And that should be okay. So I, still, I, want them, I want them to replenish. I don't know how that works exactly. At what point will they still replenish? I think they will still at this point. Yeah, avoid the rebel provinces, of course. We're just trying to get Bulgaria to, to, to defect. I'm going to grab the stability here. One little trick for you guys to see when this is going to defect is go to your province history of the first province that the rebels sieged of the Ottomans. You'll see that it was on September 5th. So so they should defect on 1463, September 5th. I'm going to go and turn my maintenance back on and make sure I don't let these rebels actually win. So now that they've sieged all the ones that they can siege, I'm going to go kill them. That should be fine. 
I'm gonna be sure that I mothball these forts. They're just not not paying for them. More or less, you just go in here and uncheck that. Do not pay for these forts, please. There we go, that's better. So the rebels are about to defect on this September 5th, and I'll show you guys that. It's gonna be exactly that day, as you see. Five years, exactly. And we're gonna go ahead and declare war straight away. And we're just gonna go for a nice carpet siege. And if done correctly, you shouldn't have to fight a single unit. Should be the should be a very short war. I'm gonna go ahead and fully annex Bulgaria here and take a little bit of money, nothing much, but not, not much available to take. You won't be able to core any of this up for the time being, but that's okay. I'm gonna let my ships repair real quick so I can blockade more. I guess the Serbia's breaking alliance with me, I don't really care though. Do your worst, Serbia. I'm gonna turn my army maintain soft for the time. I'm probably gonna split up my navies a little bit so they can blockade, because it should um, frustrate him if he's blockaded a lot. I guess we'll just stall the war out. We have the max, but he's not, it's not very war exhausted. There he goes. I need him to get into the low range so I can have more stuff. I'm just gonna stall this out for like a few more months. I wanna get his allies out of the war, then I can probably get more. They'll leave in a few months. Go ahead and wipe peace out AQ here. So I'm gonna end the war with the Ottomans. I'm gonna take max money, war reps, and just a couple of provinces. Make sure, of course, I take the one that makes it so he can't cross. And we're definitely not gonna go bankrupt. We're gonna repay most of our loans here. Only in five loans now. Gives us a bit of inflation though. But we can grab the um, inflation policy thing here. Yeah, reduce inflation one here. Reduce that inflation down a little bit. We got a mission done as well, because it's a little bit of money. Nice. And then this one as well. Bulgaria is an accepted culture. And I'm going to get rid of the forts here. Really, I don't even need a fort in Constantinople. Let's regroup the navies now. How much money he pays me a month? 2.19. 2 so it is quite a bit of money. So that puts us in a pretty good spot, obviously. And, you know, we should be able to dominate from that point forward. I mean, if you guys enjoyed this short, concise style, as always, thanks for watching and have a great one.